I'm Justin, DevOps engineer, and my company switched from LastPass for Business to Keeper for Business. For more reviews like these, please click the link below. In terms of the business problems these products help solve, it's organizing and storing passwords. You can probably store them anywhere, right? In an Excel spreadsheet or written down on a stack of note cards or whatever. The problem is those traditional means of storing things are not secure. Especially whenever you work in a field like mine where you have hundreds of passwords to keep track of. You want to make sure they're secure. You want to make sure that nobody can get access to them unless you explicitly allow it. And so these systems like LastPass and Keeper are purpose-built to deliver password security on an enterprise setting, not only for you, but also sharing credentials securely with others in your team. Keeper business is definitely best for companies that are cost sensitive. Now, Keeper does tend to tier their products a little bit so that you get the base product and you have a lot of add-ons you can put on top of that. But if all you want is something that's relatively secure to get started with, Keeper is a great choice for that. They're also great for cross-platform support. In comparing Keeper with a couple of other alternatives, we found that Keeper had by far the greatest variety in both browsers it supported, including fringe browsers like Safari and Edge, well, at least fringe to me, and support for desktop applications including Windows, Mac, and yes, even Linux. LastPass, I'd say, is generally best if you're already involved in the Logmean ecosystem and you want to stick with the same company for all your IT services. I know from my perspective, I really appreciate being able to do that sometimes. Uh, other than that, I'd probably say LastPass is good if you want something that has a relatively large market share. Most people I've talked with have heard of LastPass, definitely less so than Keeper. So if you have a question about LastPass, you're probably going to have a better choice, of, a better chance of finding solutions on the internet just searching around for something like LastPass. It was pretty easy to get started with both, but you have to keep in mind too that we had different use cases for starting with both of them. For LastPass, we had nothing else at the time, so we didn't really have much, if anything, to import. It was really just a matter of punching in things. So once we got that done, it was relatively straightforward. You enter your passwords, you can either get the desktop application, the mobile app, or use the browser extension. I tend to gravitate more toward that. And so that was relatively straightforward. Then whenever it came time to switch to Keeper Business, we had to export our stuff from LastPass and import it into Keeper. Fortunately, Keeper made that process relatively straightforward. You can export your passwords from LastPass in a format that Keeper can import directly. Now, it doesn't necessarily translate over absolutely everything. Certain providers have certain functionalities that are not going to map one-to-one. -one. But in terms of getting the username and the password and the very basics mapped in, that was relatively straightforward. From there, it was simply a process of assigning the permissions differently because we had more people using Keeper as opposed to LastPass. But on the whole, it was relatively straightforward. When you're thinking about these types of programs, I would say look at security number one. This is the whole reason why you're looking at something like this versus putting it in an Excel spreadsheet or writing it in a notebook. Does the company have a great record of security with their product? In our case, we found that LastPass for Business did not. Now, because of the way these products are designed, LastPass has had some compromises. It wasn't necessarily as bad as it could have been because of some of their security features. But the fact that LastPass has had security compromises concerned us greatly. I'd say other than that, look at the ease of use. Because you can have something like this, but unless people at your company want to use it, then they're not going to use it. In our case, I think more people weren't on LastPass for Business because people found it a little bit less intuitive. It seemed to be more based around a mobile application experience, at least when we were using it at the time. And so there were fewer teams that wanted to do it. Whereas with Keeper, it's a little bit more straightforward. It definitely seems like it's used for more of a business setting. People have shown no hesitation about going on there and putting in their stuff. And now, thanks to that, we've had almost universal adoption across our company.